Hello, this is Derek Tabers, and this is your Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlight here in beautiful Long Castle. What do we have today? Well, we have another pack. Remember, this pack was supposed to be on Tuesday, now it's on today because of the cat pack. Anyway, it was pack week. <laughs> kind of like shark week, only not. Anyway, moving swiftly on, what do we have today? Well, we have a class pack. It is, here we go. The Class Jaguar 900 Cargo MF, whatever that means. Massey Ferguson, maybe? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, $350 a day, $355,000 to buy. Silage combine with autopilot. Ooh, autopilot. And 60,000 liter capacity. Let's buy that. It comes with the Class Orbis 1050 head. 10.5 for maze. 52,000. It comes with the direct disc thing for cutting other things. I don't know. We have a, a header trailer for that same device. We have a um, thing. Um, <laughs> a grass straw sucker upper thingy majiggy. Just buy it. Oh my goodness. And we have an easy collect. For sunflower, sorghum, cucumber, tomato, carrot, and onion, which is good because we can go get sunflower. Okay, so that's that, and that's all of it. Alrighty, so here we go. So here is our direct drive head, yeah, direct disc head. Okay, here's our trailer, which is very trailery. It's so always good to have your trailer be trailery. This is the lightest weight piece of equipment. Eh. Come back over. No? Oh, oh, it did it. Okay. Um, all right, whatever. Okay, here's our, our that thing. And there's this. Okay. Stupid question here. But what's the difference? Is it literally that this one only handles those fruit types? I guess so. Okay. All right. I, I'm okay with that, I guess. All right, let's look at our beast, our beastie. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, we can't clip through that. That's good. We're, uh, we got a little bit of an overhang problem going on. Uh, what can you do? What can you do? All right, so you can't clip through anything. Let's get inside. Yeah, we're hanging out just a little bit. Let's get inside. Oh, we have IC. What's this? Ooh, camera. Front. Back. Where's that camera? Seriously, really? No cam, no cam. All right. Oops. Ah. Oh, cloak. Yeah. All right, what's this? Fold pipe. All right, first things first, I need to get that to go away. Oh! No! Oh, where am I? What's going on? Wow. Okay, I folded a pipe. Is that what that is right there on the back? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's start this thing. Oh goodness, these cameras. There. Uh, not a big fan of that. Gotta drive over our trailer really quick there. Okay, now that we're out in the open, num key zero is the info. All right, left door open, close is seven. Okay. Blinkers are all there. Rotate bunker is Y. Oh, that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? Hmm. Well, that, that poses a small issue. 
Switch to working mode. Oh, okay, cool. Now, rotating the bunker has to use Y, but um, I can't do that. And key N it says wiper over there, but that switches me to driving mode. Okay, so that's not necessarily the most helpful information there. <laughs> beacons. Yeah, look at all those beacons. Nice. Okay. Does it have a hitch for pulling its own? It does. It's got a hitch for pulling its own header trailer. Which is nice. Okay, so first things first. I have canola over there. So let's get the disc head. Actually, first things first, let's get that trailer out of the way. Uh, I knew I kept the Ford over here for a reason. Let's go. I'm going to hit that, but I don't, oh no, yep, I did, oh well. Go, drop that back off. I'm going to park the poor, poor Ford over here now. All right, that's out of the way. Now let's get that direct drive head. Direct drive, direct cut, direct disc, whatever they call it. Wow. Let me just run over stuff to do it. I can see why it needs a header trailer. Um, and nothing else does, given that it's so big. Okay. But up. Thank you. All right. So we're going to go and do a little bit of canola cutting over here. The nice thing is we can unload easily with all these trailers. <laughs> Ah, uh, look at me being all smart and stuff. Alright, so, first things first, let's switch to work mode. So... There's that. Look at that. Very nice articulation. I mean, there's, there's nothing really wrong with that. Alright, so now we go back here. Unfold. Oh. All right, so theoretically that means I can come in here. Yeah, okay, so I can line things up. Okay, cool. All right, so now... Turn on harvester. Oh, look at the PTO shafts. Oh. There's some nice animation. Nice. All right, let's. All right. So what are we making? Chaff, apparently. Oops. Oh, cool, I can just kind of drive by that. Uh, is uh, that's nice. Okay, so let's stop. Turn that off. And it doesn't stop immediately. That's cool too. Oh, these extra cameras. Um, do we unload this way? Maybe. Oh, yep. So, that was basically turning my canola into stuff, not canola, right? I was just destroying what I had to create, yeah, I think so. Alright, so let's go back here. Drop that off. And 
This one here should work on crud. <laughs> push these guys around a little bit. See, that's how you do it. No, it's not. <laughs> Get out of the way. There. Got it. Huh. Uh, now this should just pick up trails, right? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it just picks up um, just picks up the trails of stuff left behind when we harvest properly with a combine instead of this thing. Okay, X to unfold. Not 100% sure what that does, but... Okay. Yep. So that's slurping that up and turning that into chaff as well. So that's cool. Little animation there. All right, cool. All right, and then uh, I got two heads. It's, so it does it does everything in the chaff, which is fine. Drop that there. And I'm going to go, I'm going to grab the sunflower head here. Oops, did that not, there. Okay, so it says corn head. And I'm almost positive this was the one that was for sunflower. But we got corn and sunflower very close to each other. So we're going to we'll try we'll try the corn first. And then if that fails, then we'll try the sunflower. Watch out, coming through. I will shave your car. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so this is not for corn, even though it does say corn. Minor. Uh, that's a relatively minor thing there. Very easy to fix in the XML, if you so desire. All right, now let's try this. Yeah, look at that. Working like a champ. Excellent. Okay, turn it off. All right. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> so basically, this machine, and I'm I'm going to make a presumption here because this is modeled on the corn head, and was just changed to accept the different crop. But the corn head is going to work just fine, so I'm not going to bother with the corn head. Um, it looks like you're going to hire a driver. And actually, you know what? I am going to bother with the corn head. I say I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to grab the corn head and drive over to the corner and we're going to hire a driver. I want to see a driver do this. Because um, then you have a 60 something thousand liters of capacity that you can hire a worker to go do while well, you go do other things, like run your farm. <laughs> Let's go. Now the one thing about this corn head though, is it's like the world's lightest weight object. There we go. 
Well, no. I take it back. The world's lightest weight object is that bucket for the uh, Cat 345 from Tuesday. <laughs> you could just kick it over. All right, let's unfold that guy while we're driving. He looks big and mean. I want to drive your car in front of him. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> okay. I'll go over here. Beacons. Okay, let's line him up here. No wither on this, that's nice. Okay. There we go. Excellent. So the hired worker is going to work. We got corn flowing in. You can use the other head on canola and other things. Uh, you got a head for sucking up the straw and other cuttings. Got a head for canola and other cereal grains. Overall, everything gets turned into chaff that you can then go and dump. Or pipe out into something and dump. I wonder, can this guy just empty, or does he require, get that off of there, could not full grain take, please unload, okay, now, can I pipe it out, here's the thing, I have the alternate tipping mod on. Now, I have to move a pipe over the trailer. Derp, 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 derp. <sighs> okay. Back to the farm really quick. Uh, stuff everywhere. We're going to get... We'll grab that guy right there. The, whatever this thing is. Western Star. So the alternate tipping mod should allow me to basically dump the contents of my trailers wherever I feel like. Um, so I can make my own little piles. So I can use, say, uh, those green trailers. Really annoying me right now. Um, so I can uh, hook up a smaller trailer and then just dump it in a location and then come back with say a bigger trailer and a, the 980 or some other front loader and move whatever I need to move around so in theory in theory I should be able to take the chaff and then dump it in a pile somewhere if not, I have a truck with some manure in it. We can dump manure somewhere. Move car. <laughs> Slow car. There we go. That fill up a little bit. So we'll just let it empty. Really? Uh, that much in there? Oh. Huh. Who knew? Not me, apparently. All right, so let's... Can I dump? No. Aha! Keys, left control, and Q. Look at that. There we go. I got my alternate pile right there of Jeff. Again, an excellent thing to do if you're maybe, uh, if you're running perhaps in a tight area, so it's very hard to get a large trailer in and out, but you have a lot of product to harvest. You could run a small trailer and tractor with your harvester in the field and then create a dump location, a central dump location to dump it off and come pick it up with another device. Also useful with that, um, 
what is that thing called? The, um... Beet harvesting thing, wherever the heck it went to. <laughs> Did I take it out by accident? I might have taken it out by accident. Huh. Yeah, it looks like I did. The Homer Terrafellas from um, last season, where it it picks up beets and potatoes. There's a there's another one that I've seen where they modded it to pick up manure, so you could create a pile and then use that to load another trailer, say a large trailer, or say I don't know an Australian road train of twenty nine trailers, for instance. Maybe. Just thinking. So there you go. That's the alternate tipping mod. Also the Class 900 Jaguar MF mod with all of its various accoutrement. It turns anything you want into, well, except for potatoes and sugar beets. But it turns anything else you want into chaff so you can make big amount of chaff so you can make a whole bunch of money in silage. That's where the money's at. And you can hire a worker. And it's got 66,000 liters capacity. And tag it with the alternate tipping mod. You can probably make a really good use out of this. So there you go. Links are down below, as always, to both mods. I've been Dare Tebbers. This is your Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlight here in beautiful Long Castle. Till next time. Bye. <laughs>